Hello fellow tinkerers. Welcome to the first of three tutorials on creating and implementing multiple materials on a single character mesh. We will be using Blender to assign these material slots. Notice how our character has only one material slot, but we want more. Like so. Multiple material slots. First we need to export the character FBX import to Blender and perform some setup. Locate your character mesh in your folder. You want to right click Asset Actions. You want to go to Export. It's desktop. And I'm going to call this Sinti Multi Mat. Character and this will be an FBX. Now, export, go to Blender, delete the cube. Import FBX, Desktop, Sinti, don't need animations, ignore leaf bones, this is alright, So we don't have our texture. We can put that in. Don't don't actually need it for this, but just makes everything a bit easier to see. So we're just going to export our texture. Asset actions export. Back to Blender. So this is in the shader editor and you should have this associated with your character mesh setup already. And if we select video shading. Okay, so with our character setup, we're just going to, we need to have our root as our main root. You don't want this folder here. All we need to do is hit delete and that makes the character rather large. So we can come back to and to go to unit scale under scene properties and all we need to do is change the unit scale to 0 0.01. And that brings us back to the right size for Unreal. Just so I'll save that. Right, we're all set up to proceed. So just select your character mesh. We want to hit Tab. Go into Edit Mode. Uh, you want to select faces, select mode faces, and we can head over to UV editor, and if we hit A on our character, you'll see all the color nodes, as well as that if we hit UV sync selection, when I select Here and here it selects Now you might want to turn off your root and everything else. Also if we go to 
edit preferences and we go to navigation if you put on auto depth it will help you pan and zoom on a particular surface uh, if you zoom in and you want to it sort of moves real slow but if I've got auto depth on it'll speed up depending on where your cursor is to assign a new material slot for selected faces we can select the colors thanks to Cinti already setting up the original material click the plus sign on the main material heading and then hit new just below it name the material slot with a convention that will be easy to remember and call to from future blueprints hit assign and repeat these steps for all the material slots you require This is where I come back to the character because I noticed the original mapping for the hairline would look better if it was just skin. Just looks a bit strange when you change it to different colors. going to now export from Blender and these are the settings we're going to need for UE5. So you want to make sure that your lighting and camera are all deselected. If you just click outside of the mesh and hit A you can select everything. So that's the root and the character. You go to export FBX, name it appropriately. Include selected objects. Smooth face normals. Unapply modifiers and an armature you want to make false. The add leaf bones tick. So deselect add leaf bones. And that's it, we're ready to import into UE5. Just drag and drop the FBX file you've just exported, and we will select our original Sinti skeleton as the skeleton. Leave convert scene on. Don't worry about textures and do not create material. and you will see that we have all our material slots now it's looking a bit bland gray so what we can do is just find our Sinti material 1a and populate it in all the material slots you will notice that um, the materials keep their uv mapping i will call it here for now we will call this multi-material tutorial 1A and we'll do tutorial 1B next. 
where we will set up our materials that can be assigned a specific color directly from a texture. So till next time, thanks.